It's Madden NFL 24, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Dolphins and the Bills on Monday night. We are about 15 miles south of downtown Buffalo at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Tonight, it's our first Monday night game of the new season, and we've got a good one coming up, as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the Buffalo Bills. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, a new season finally here. We had the great one Thursday night, all sorts of intrigue in the games yesterday, and now we put a bow on this first weekend with a good one here tonight. We do put a spotlight on key games, don't we? Even key nights. Thursday night has become a spotlight night. How about Sunday night? But there still is some magic to playing on Monday night, and these two teams are feeling it. And we are underway in Buffalo. And no run back on this one. So the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at 6'5". That's Josh Allen. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. There aren't too many guys who can do both. And at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Play action. Now it's Allen. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that's caught inside the 35. A huge play there right off the bat. 45 yards. Oh, it's got to feel good to hit on one of these in the first quarter of a brand new season. They're hoping this duo can really make some noise this year. And this is a great start. A big play here early in the ball game. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook, and he's got it down to the 28. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how we often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going, and then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Now Allen throwing on second down. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Boy, no problems getting down the field here on this opening drive. They've looked really sharp in the early going, and they've come up with some big plays already. Here's another that's going to set up first and goal. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. A great effort there. His first NFL reception goes for six. And the Bills are on the board here first in the season opener. Excellent start there. First drive of the season. Big time success putting it in the end zone. And remember, that was done without any real map of how to do it. In other words, the deeper you get into the season, you get game film to work off of, tendencies to work off of. The first drive of the season, things can be entirely different than what you've seen in the past. It's a really good job of execution by them. An extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Here is Tua Tungavailoa heading out to lead this Miami offense. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, 
I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure, and he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. Two in the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Out to his left. Throw caught by Ochan. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. Boy, fingers crossed here. First quarter of a new season already an injury. And while they attend to him, we'll step aside. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. First carry for Raheem Mostert. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. A Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. The throw over the middle, taken in. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. It's a gain of five, brings up second and five at the Bills' 45-yard line. Up the middle they go with Moster, and he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. try and pick it up on the ground with Wilson and he is going to have the Dolphins first down and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. Plenty of things to talk about here partner but to me their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding coming back. That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Tua with a quick throw caught out wide. Too far downfield, something those linemen have to watch out for, and that time it costs them. Still first down. Ready. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Here's a toss play right to Moster. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Second and 16. Throwing now is Chugamailoa. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Bills are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. And that's a ball that he is going to want to keep his first career interception in the National Football League. And I love what teams do when that happens. You bring the ball to the sideline, the equipment guy grabs it, he puts a piece of tape on it, writes on it so that you know what it is, and then they tuck it away so that you can have it for later and put it on your mantle. Pretty good deal for him right there. Now he's eager to get back out on the field and get his second one. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And this defense not giving them anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Allen looks to throw on second down. Incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down. Third down. 
They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing is Allen on third. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him. And I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw. When they went through a two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations, they were hard to hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. First down, here's the run with Cook. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Again, it's Cook. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. A give to Cook out of the gun. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Here's second and five now from the 22. Now Allen. And this is Cook with the grab. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. So another scoring grab there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You can hit the six there, Barger, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunity as the rest of the game. So after the main field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. Anthony Schwartz going to bring it out. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Holding, receiving feet. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed in practice. And that often runs you into a penalty. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike, and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's
that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it brings up third and five now. Now Tua. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 30. Ten nothing to score after one on EA Sports. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a first and ten. Oh, design run for their wide out. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second down and a little more than a yard here. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially up and goal is a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he's going to go backward. They get him behind the line. They end up getting stuffed twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. And this one is no good. He missed it. And they will not cut into that 10-point lead. Boy, that's three points you really expect to have. That's nothing more than lack of concentration to me because an NFL kicker should make this kick in his sleep. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. Second and 10. Here's Allen to throw it, and that's going to be incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Allen now looks to throw. It fights him off. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Jerome Baker drops him for a four-yard loss there, and that brings up fourth down. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. Fielded just inside the 30. Personal foul. Face mask. Yeah, we saw that from up here, CD. A tug on the face mask, and the flag comes out. And we saw that last week they had some defensive miscues like that, and they told us that they had worked hard on it in practice and thought they had it all cleaned up, but obviously the message hasn't really sunk in. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and ten. Up the middle, A-Chan. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defense is always talking about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. From the 46, here's second down and eight. Two are going to throw. That one caught by 
Tyreek Hill. And he's brought down. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what do you think. Mean by that, Bert? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. Play action. Now it's Tua. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Here's Tua. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. The pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down. And a near sack, they got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback because that was awfully close. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and forever. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And that is incomplete. And the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. Uh, I would say they went three and out last time, but actually they didn't even get to three and out. Still a strange decision to us here in the booth. Yeah, let's hope they don't go one and out, but maybe, possibly, let's try and try and think with them here. Try and play field position, maybe. Turn the ball over, put it in the hands of their defense. Who knows? You're a nice man. <laughs> they start the drive with Cook. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Now a second and six. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run. That's a positive play for the offense. And he is going to have a Bills first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Throwing on first down is Allen. Got it complete to Khalil Shakir. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. From the gun, it's a give to Cole. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now Allen off the bootleg. Into the hands of the tight end, Dalton Kincaid. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Now a give running right, it's Cook. Gets past one man. And this will leave him a yard short. 
Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. Well, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. Just need a yard here. Second and one. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And they keep those sticks moving forward that time with a gain of three. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. They'll give him four yards there. And that will bring up second down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz it because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. No, I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. To the air, Allen. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Now a second and ten. Now Allen again. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'm guaranteed he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Now Allen. Touchdown! Gabriel Davis. 15-yard touchdown Brown. And the Bills are looking good here in the season openers. They're able to extend their lead. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May that you worked on in July and August, getting ready for this game. It's all coming together so far. Tyler Bass now for the point after. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So that one, a 13-point drive in total. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Gabriel Davis. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Miami set to take over. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. Well, no, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. And you're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you, just, you, called it I think you just called it desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. And he will find his man on the outside. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Tour with a throw brought in by Hill. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Looking to pass, Tua. And that is incomplete. 
And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Tua setting up shop to throw again. Open net is Waddle complete. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Tua looking to throw on third and two. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Tua on the bootleg here. Rolling to his left. Smith catches left side. And he takes his down to about the two before going out of bounds. That'll give him eight that time, and it'll be second in a couple. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Now Tua signaling to change things up. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. So fourth down, Tua departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. This will be spotted at the 20, so it's a 30-yard attempt. Sanders' kick is good, and they're on the board at least here. It's now 17-3. to now Maybe a moral victory of sorts. They're on the board here late in the first half, but this offense just hasn't looked that sharp. Yeah, but at least they got the three points, right? At least have something to quote-unquote hang their hats on and maybe feel a little bit better about themselves as they head to the half. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. This taken in by Kincaid. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On first down, Allen. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. So we reach halftime here at our first Monday nighter of the season. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started up at FedEx Field in our nation's capital, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Kenny Pickett, two touchdown passes, 
as his guys are able to get the victory. In All right, we will save the week one highlights and apparently get right back to the action here in the third. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Here's Schwartz bringing it out of the end zone. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. So that a free 15 yards. And it's always a tough one as a defender because a lot of the penalties that you commit, pass interference, holding, when they happen, you actually know what you're doing. But a face mask penalty, a lot of times is inadvertent, but it still costs you the same amount of yardage. A run straight ahead with a chance. And good vision there as it's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Two and now on first down. Open man downfield is Hill. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So stranger things have happened. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Liam Eikenberg, second-round pick in 2021 from Notre Dame, the guilty party. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Throwing now is Chugavailoa. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. They'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. On second down, a run by a champ. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. No luck whatsoever there on the draw. Yeah, they're supposed to use their aggressiveness against them. That was the hope. But maybe they had too big of a meal last night. A half step slow, and he ends up running right into the meat of the defense. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. Well, how about the covers we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed in the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Sanders' kick is good. And a second field goal here gets him back with an 11 now. It's 17 to 6. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing. All right, they didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need him to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Off play action. Allen. His throw incomplete. 
So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. This now a third and four. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down, and finish this one off. They run the counter with Cook, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Allen looks to throw on second down. Throw right side caught by Davis. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now that sets up 32. Allen now looks to throw. And complete right side to Cook. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, they opted not to run it. They completed the pass on third and two, but they lost yardage to bring up four. Well, give credit to the guys on the other side of the ball. They snuffed out the play, but it does bring into question one, the play call, because they didn't run the ball there. They could have run it, and two, just not getting it. That's got to be deflating for them. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on them as they stop him for no gain. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Two are going to throw. That's caught Waddle on the left side. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. And Oliver, that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. The Dolphins will send out the punter now, standing just outside his own goal line. Diggs with a good footwork. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. They had that first half lead, but they have been shut down here in this third quarter, so time to retool a bit. And probably need to tap into that emotional vein that gets them back to really playing hard and effectively. Because a lot of times we think it's just play calls and this isn't working and they're shutting them down. Sometimes when you get a lead, you lose your edge. You don't play quite as hard. That's what they're looking for here. Trying to get that edge back as they've watched this lead shrink a little. 
So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. Up the middle, it's cooked. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, but that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. They run again on first down, Cook. Well, now hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. Second and five. Now a handoff up the middle. Brooks. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On third down, it's Brooks. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Brooks. And now off to the races. Down the right side. And he's brought down at the 19 after a game of 19. First down on the run zone. Nothing too fancy just to carry up the middle, but a successful carry up the middle against this 3-4 defense. And to be able to do that, what do you have to control? The nose guard, right? Got to be able to move him. Otherwise, you're not getting anything up the middle. Nice job by the center. Got a little help from one of his friends playing guard. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. On second down, here's Allen. Caught right side, Davis. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. Allen looks to throw on third and one. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There was pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him. And they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. To throw, it's Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. On play action, Allen. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. 
Well, Brandon, we see why it's a team game there because there's a sigh of relief that they just released defensively. If he's able to get that one away, that's likely a touchdown. But instead, that pressure from the front got to him and forced the incompletion. You're right. He had him open just a split second too late on the release. His pass caught at the four. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Hey, let's face it. You can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Emmanuel Agba that time able to drop him for a loss. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal from 28 yards out. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So that may be not a knockout blow, but I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. Here's Schwartz bringing it out of the end zone. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. They're going to here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And give him a lot of credit there, but even more credit to the guys up front. In that situation, you know it's going to be a stacked defensive front. And to be able to gain that much yardage, that's a big win for the guys on offense. Yeah, they were just about standing on their own goal line. So to get a few yards there, a great start. Now we'll see what second down breaks. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. But Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Now a whistle, and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Tonga Vailoa to throw. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Gregory Russo now with his second sack here on opening night. My oh man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Gregory Russo in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. On third and long, it's Tug of Iloa. And this is going to be intercepted. Hook made by Terrell Bernard. And he will bring it back to the four-yard line. But such a costly interception. Nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense has to run onto the field, probably giving the quarterback a few side eyes along the way. They've got to see if they can stop a score. So after the INT, it's Allen. Touchdown, Bills! Stephon Diggs from four yards 
downtown. And the Bills are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. I think all teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time. Looking at week one, oh good, we're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. And I agree with you totally. That's what you want. But there carries a little extra pressure with that as well because you and I both know protecting the home field, winning your home games is paramount in this league. So you go into it, yeah, we want it, but now you actually have to go out and prove it. They have two sides to that coin and looking like they're going to protect it here in this one. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Miami's offense set and ready to go. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a performance, to be frank, not to be proud of here as they trail big in this fourth quarter. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that nearly intercepted. Oh, the free safety rolling into position almost had it, but it's second down. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Here's Tua. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Out of the gun on third down, here's Tua. They complete it to Hill. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. And that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. But no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. Two and a throw again. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. Now Tua. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. And it goes a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this. And you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Throw left side there, Schwartz with it. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Here's a second and five. Waddle, the motion man, right. Tua sets up to pass it. Flushed out right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Throwing now is Chungavailoa. And a throw there going to be incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. 
So they get the flag for pass interference. Big call there on fourth down. But it's the right call, and as much as I want to see them play through incidental contact, he's definitely there too early. So first and ten after a big mistake on fourth down with a penalty. Looking to pass to him. And they'll get this on the screen to Mosker. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Second and ten at the 36 yard line. Play action. Now it's Tua. Now the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailed by multiple touchdowns and a late sack. Just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Tua. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Dolphins first down. And they convert in style right there. A big play on fourth and long. They set up the screen. HN has it. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14, before he's out of bounds. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. Now a second and two. Two are going to throw. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaking up on the play. Here now a third down and eight. Going to the air, Tugabailoa. Got an open ball at Schwartz. And the Dolphins are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Here's Mostert. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. So they get pushed back to the 11. And here's second and goal. He'll drop to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Janu Smith, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So fourth quarter touchdown there, back to a two-score game, but time is not their ally. No, it's not, partner. They still have a pulse, but it's probably a little weak right now. A lot of things have to go right in these final two minutes plus for them. I think they have to be thinking onside kick here, and we know how difficult those are to recover. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and the lead will be cut down to 14. Two scores down, two timeouts at their disposal. This is a critical onside kick. And the Bills are going to recover. Nifty move. In the fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it. They do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Defensively, no doubt they need a quick stop. Offensively here, maybe do you put it in the air on second down, or do you go ahead and keep it on the ground, keep that clock moving? A lot of people would ask that question, partner, because sometimes throwing the ball might actually be the path of least resistance. But in this case, it's a matter of trust. How much do you trust your quarterback? Because you throw the ball and it goes awry, you really don't look smart as a coach. Yeah, and then you stop that clock. The free safety roaming all the way up to the line of scrimmage to make that stop. How about his ability to trust his eyes and figure out it was not a pass play and go fast towards the line of scrimmage in order to make that tackle? 
On third down, it's Brooks. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They've got a fourth down here in a game that looks to have been decided already. Sean McDermott didn't hesitate. They'll go for it on fourth. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Bills first down, and that should be that. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. The Bills on their way to victory now as they take the knee. Allen down to a knee, and that should just about do it. And just how they envisioned the start of the season, kneeling it down, defense can't stop the clock. This one's a winner. You know what's really strange? I think a lot of people think that the kneel down practice stuff really only happens like one time a week. The best teams I know, they practice starting back in OTAs. They want them to visualize winning a game and how great that feels, and they got it done in this one. Yep, a knee gets them to 1-0. Well, partner, that'll do it. These week one primetime games, they always seem to have a little bit more electricity, a little more anticipation, a fun one tonight, and a lot of fun ones that we have on the road ahead. And partner, I love the word you just used there, electricity. Things were crackling out there, weren't they? And let's face it, both of these teams came in with the idea, get off to the start. Get off to a 1-0 start and get your season going. That could spark an excellent season for them. They've got that in their pocket now. So for the Bills, it's a great win here on a Monday night as they'll start the new campaign 1-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Indianapolis Colts. Meanwhile, for the Dolphins, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try and turn things around next week as they have a date at MetLife Stadium with the New York Jets. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.